In this video will show you how to install a ASCII file viewer. So if you're a client of MMS Design, you will find that there is a MMS Design folder and then you'll find there's utilities and you can see there's a text viewer APK. You can just run that and that will allow you to open up any text file on your drive and which you can then um, view and um, see what's going on in the actual text file. So let me just uh, open up any file and you can see there's some data in here and you can view it and then decide what you'll need to do with this. Let me locate the file I need. So I'm going to go to my shared folder and there's a CSV file that I want to import. I'm just trying to get it bigger. So that first section 001 represents just the line number so we ignore that. So the data is just that piece from the word base that's the name field in this instance. Then we have our Y value, the smaller value. We have our X, the bigger value. And then we have our Z and then we have a comma and then there's nothing. Next line shows the comma and then there's a BM for benchmark. So that's the code field. So there's one, two, three, four, five columns that I can import. Now I'll show you how to import coordinates using the import tool in Landstar. So in Landstar, to import that file, we obviously have to create the project first. So I've done that already. I just want to import the data. So we just go to import. And then you'll see there's this format thing here that now needs to represent those data values we saw in the CSV file. So I don't have one that explicitly looks the same. It needs to be a CSV. So this is the closest I get, but it's not right. So I'm going to add a format. Um, I'm not I'm going to put a name in later so let's just first talk about the fields now we know that our columns were name and then y then x then z and then code so this is totally wrong so we'll just tap on these um, specific names to get them out and then we put them in in the right order that is what the file looked like when I viewed it in the ASCII file um, viewer and then I'll just give it a name that describes it to me um, easily. So I'll say that is the name field, then that is the Y, X, Z, and then that's the code field. That's the sequence. And I also like to just put in there dot CSV. You can even put it in brackets if you like. Just so you know that the file name represents that specific format. And now I can just pick this tool and say OK. And then we go to Next. And we go find our file wherever that is. And you'll see it says that 229 points we imported correctly. And I just want to check it. So if I go to my points, uh, currently my coordinate format is in uh, some weird coordinate system so let's just change that to our coordinate type and make it local northeast elevation projection grid and there you can see my northings is correct my eastings is correct my elevation is correct the name field is correct and let's just see if the code field is there yep there we go and that's how you import coordinates